Hey there, it's Potmos and nice of you to join me for a brand new episode with our little foundation village, episode two. So here we see our villagers doing their things, we see our houses, in the distance we can see a little bit of the town taking shape. Let's go this way so we can see everything. Well, we are quite busy and we are trying to build the warehouse at this point. And the interesting thing is we need quite a few more planks for that. But, well, we will get them. Let's see, we have two unemployed villagers. Can we provide them with a job? Yes, we can get an extra carpenter. And uh, I think two extra carpenters, actually. That's for the best. And, of course, we have to wait until our um, little storage here is done. So that we can hopefully start trading soon. Because we're going to need more tools. And tools are quite scarce in this game, so... Uh, we're going to have to trade for them. It will take some time before we can actually produce our own. So it'll be interesting to see if we can get to that point rather quickly. I would also like to expand our village in many directions to, to move some of the industries away so we can use this whole patch just for constructing our housing and stuff like that. But we'll see how that turns out. For now, oh well, it's okay. Uh, we're running at the highest speed. We still need some more planks. Um, but yeah, that's okay. We can ha we can handle that. And they can already construct bits and pieces of this. There's two extra planks incoming. That's good. So they, they are, they're doing their job. And I think with the three carpenters in there, it should go rather quickly. We have two newcomers arriving. Very good. Well, let's see. Um, I'm thinking we should keep this area all for the housing. At a certain point, we need to start working on services and stuff like that. So to give them a church, etc. Um, but for now, this is all good. So we'll see. Let's just go ahead and see if we can finish this warehouse. That would be great. If we could do that. Ah, just two more planks and we're there. Kind of waiting for that. Um, there's not a lot of room here for farming, etc. So I think we'll have to get across and, and get some farmland over here or maybe over here. In this area, there's not a lot of space for it, but it will be fine. All right, let's get an extra miner and I save one to put into the warehouse as a transporter as soon as it's done. I think that will be very nice. Yes, there it is. Let's add somebody. Then we'll add some wood. We'll add planks. I guess we'll add some stone. And we'll add tools. And this way, we basically store a bit of everything so we can stockpile some and then hopefully Anytime uh, soon we are able to uh, specialize all our warehouses. I think that would be even better to get some specialized uh, warehouses just for one or two products. But right now, I think it's good to just stockpile all of these for a bit in one warehouse. Let's go ahead. Uh, plan a trade route. Yeah, that's what we have to do at this point. We'll have to get to trade. And we have to unlock this straight route. Now we need 10 more planks. We'll get them, but we'll have to wait for it. And after that, we can start to sell some berries, some planks, and we can buy tools. They're very expensive, but then we can buy tools. And we are actually in dire need of those. Now I can also see that we're using up quite a bit of our wood. So getting an extra wood cutter might also be one of the options. Unfortunately, we don't have a free territory at this point, so we'll have to buy it for 250 coins. We have those, but I'd like to save them a bit until we really, really need that extra zone. And right now, I'm not 100% sure that we actually really, really need that extra zone. So we'll wait with it. We have to provide any newcomers with a good job, though. So I think it's time to get an extra gathering hut right here. Um, you can do two gathering huts with one berry bush. That'll work fine. And it'll give you extra berries. And that's something that we might use 
to our advantage soon. Because with extra berries, we can get more in to sell for food, for other stuff. So to make some money. All right, two extra villagers. Ah, we can unlock the trade route. That's perfect. Let's give them jobs. I want two extra transporters. So at least everybody has a job now. Now let's go to the trading. Uh, right here. And we'll set up a trade route. So we want to buy tools. Uh, and we want to buy until we reach a certain number in our inventory. Which is going to be 15. We're going to sell berries. But we're only going to sell those above 150. So we make sure that we really have plenty of berries ourselves. I also want to sell planks, but also only like above 100 or something like that. Otherwise, we'll run out too quickly and that is not what we want. So we'll keep it like this. Ah, the gathering hut is done, so any new villagers can go in there. And let's see, the manor house. Come to you a light-hearted woman announcing she and her folks would like to thank you for your hard work. It's true that you've made great strides already. To administrate the village, she suggests you build a manor house and a great hall. Then add a tax office. All right, we'll put this into practice. Now, a manor house will cost us quite a bit of tools, but we'll see. Uh, this is really interesting that they want me to build it. Um, I think it should go somewhere here. So let's see, we'll build a great hall first. And it will have to do with some uh, requirements. So we'll have to build at least this building. And then we'll have to add a door to it. And this will function as a great hall. Now the interesting part is... Um, that uh, we actually... If we build more pieces now, they will all serve as a great hall. You can't adjust them later. In the previous update that was the case. You could just tell this piece should be the great hall. The other one should be the tax office. So now we're just going to build this one. And then later on, I'm going to rotate it a bit by the way to fit a bit more with the market. Um, later on we'll add new structures to it and give them the specific uh, functions when we build it. That's basically how it works right now. So we'll have to assign a tax office and then build a certain building and that will be the tax office. And that way, uh, it, that's the way it works right now, which is fine, it's nice, but um, you can't just plan ahead and build like 10 different buildings and assign them a function later. You have to do that one at a time. And that can be a bit tough, but oh well. At least it's a way to slow the game down a bit, so you can't just build a big manor house and assign everything. We'll just have to wait a bit, but that's fine. All right, we got two extra villagers incoming, and I want them to be foragers, so let's go. Let's do some foraging. Now, we are getting the planks in that we want. That's nice. I don't think... No, we can't build it church yet but it'll happen soon we did get a lot of progression uh, meaning that right now we can unlock the bailiff which is nice i think that's one of the things we'll have to do yeah um but we have to build the manor house first and there's a mandate available for the bailiff so we can make the bailiff do some things but we don't have a bailiff yet so that's not going to happen at this point our economy is not that good actually but that's why we need the tax office to tax our people and that's usually the main source of income would be trading but that changed in this update we'll now have to do a lot of taxation and balance taxation and city happiness and that's the trick actually so that's nice it's a nice addition and you have to manage it a bit so that's cool and we're soon gonna get to it we'll have to wait for this to be done though well all the stuff is there all they need to do now is build it Newcomer. Two newcomers. Very good. So we have a pretty big residential zone. I don't think we need to make that any bigger at this point. They did... Oh, wrong button. They did chop quite a few trees here. So that's going in the right direction. Um, they chopped the trees here as well. So we might... Um, we might change things up a bit later on. But not for now. All right, let's go. Well, it's almost done. It's waiting for the builder, but it's almost done. Enrique is going there to build it. Then we'll have the great hall. And then we will be able to uh, add the tax. Oh, wow. He just used his hammer once and left again. 
So I guess Paterna will have to finish it. Yes, our mana lord is done. We got two new villagers in. That is really nice. An extra forager and an extra miner then. As long as they have a job, it's fine. All right, so what we can do now, we can expand it. We'll select a function. We'll give it a tax office. We can choose one of these buildings that should be the tax office. Um, I think I like to have a little tower as a tax office. Um, yeah, I like to build it halfway into the building. We'll make it quite big. And well, this is the tax tower, I guess. So yeah, let's build it. I think it'll be fun. We totally ran out of wood though. So we really need more wood incoming to ensure that um, all our planks get served well and stuff. So let's see. We don't have the money to buy this territory now because we need 250 a week. But let's see. We can also get one of these right here and chop these trees and then later on get to these trees as well. So I think placing it a bit far away here can be very beneficial in the end. Uh, I'll move it even further, I think, away from the housing. So we'll move it right there. Let's build it. It will cost us five tools. Basically, why we run a deficit is because of trade. We trade it for tools. We already have 15 now, so that's going well. And we're not really selling anything else. So I'll just assign more berries to this then. Um, but yeah, we... Um, oh, this is not good. We need to make a bit more money. Hopefully we can with the tax office, of course. Most stuff is in. I guess what we could do is get rid of one of the carpenters. I think that's a good thing. We can put him to work in another job, maybe as a tax collector soon. Let's select him, where is he? Yeah, we'll put him into the business as a tax collector. He can't work yet because the tax office is not done, but as soon as it is done, he can. And because of this, we will create less planks and we will create more uh, normal wood because some will be left. And of course, once this is done, and I think I should prioritize this, and we get new villagers, we can assign them to be wood choppers and we'll get some extra wood as well. So that doubles things up. We get extra wood because we get an extra wood cutter and we get, uh, we use a little less wood in the carpentry. That should work things up. And we can always add somebody to it as soon as we need to. Well, here's another house being built. So that's where all the wood is going and not towards our manor house. Ah, he's bringing two wood, so at least they can make a little start, I guess. Ah, we'll see. There's the lumber camp. Here we go. Waiting for a builder. Yeah, we'll finish this house so everybody has a nice house. That'll be interesting. One tool. Yeah, they still need some stuff. Two tools and 16 wood. Oh, we don't have a lot of wood. This one. Oh, they're already constructing it, but they're waiting for a builder. So you see, things do take a bit longer now than it used to take before. You could advance a little bit faster, but it's nice. And it gives you time to think about your village and it also... Um, makes for longer gameplay, so that's interesting. Although, of course, if we're just waiting and, and watching what they're doing, might be a little bit tedious if you're just watching to see the city grow. Well, that's just the way it is. And, of course, if you want to build your city yourself, you could just uh, build along and, and see what happens. All right, the lumber camp is done. Now I'm kind of waiting for two new people to arrive. Or maybe even three, but I don't think that'll happen, so that we can put them in the lumber business. But we already have two now and it's bringing six wood. That's good. Then we have eight. And I think they should be able to uh, to build some stuff now. Oh, 12 wood already in. And they have all the tools now. So yes, yeah, some building should be done. Here comes a new villager. Excellent. I know where I'll put you to work. In the wood office. Well, it's not really an office, I guess. It's the lumber camp. It's outdoors, working hard, providing the city with wood. But it's a very important job. All right. 
All right, let's do it like this. Here comes the trader again, but we don't really have much to trade for. We do have good amounts of berries. I kind of want more, so we need to expand at a certain point. First, we need this tax office done. Fish bringing two wood. So yeah, then everything is there. And they can finally finish it. That's a very important message here. Paterna. There she comes. No, she's not. This, there she comes. Yes, everything is assigned now. Let's build this. I want to start collecting taxes and make some money. Well, this is good. It's halfway done. Just takes a bit more time, but that's okay. I think we need to reserve some space here for a church. But we also need plenty of space for residentials. Maybe here, close to the water. And, well, they can build houses as far as they want, so let's do it like this. Of course, if we buy this zone at a certain point, we can even get more people in there. So that'll be good. Uh, not too close to the lumber camp, so like that. All right. Well, they did quite good here, actually. Removing the trees. Kind of hoping that they will remove all of these as well, so we can see our town. Well, we can see that our tower is taking shape, and it's getting big. But some of these builders are just not doing the job as they should. They're just working way less as they are intended to. They need to do more than just two or three hammer strokes. They need to continue. But Enrique is the one to be trusted. He's doing a good job here. Ah, two new villagers. You're very welcome. Uh, you can be woodcutters. And then next up will be another carpenter again, I think. There it is, the tax office. And now we should be able to set taxes. Let's see. Finally, by yourself in the Great Hall, you spent a few minutes of silence thinking about your aspirations and the future of your village. Providence has been good to you and your people so far, and it seems like everything is possible. We should aspire to greatness. All right, we'll see. Um, mandates are available. What's this? Ah, that's just that man at least. I don't want to do that yet. Defining a village aspiration. So we'll have to go to our village and define what we want to um, what we want to reach at a certain point. Ah, we can now unlock the monastery and the rustic church splendor. We can unlock the military fort and the stake wall, and we can unlock the manor house splendor, market splendor, and the hedge. Ah, interesting. And of course the bailiff. Um, let's go see. Economy. Taxes. That's where we want to be. Well, here we can set our taxes. We can see that our tax now is zero and we it has no in influence over happiness. Now we can move this around. You can see by one. It will affect happiness by 10%, but we'll collect 56 taxes a month. So that's a good amount. And the more people we get, the more we get from taxes. If we do it like this, you can see that they'll be quite a bit more unhappy. We'll get quite a bit more tax, but that's not what we want. So we'll do it like this. Uh, so we'll leave it at this. And now we should be making some money. And our tax collector can be the ones collecting all the taxes. So that's good. All right, let's see. Village aspirations. Read more about it. Um, victory conditions are optional objectives that can be completed on your terms. Yeah, so we'll have to find a, um, a victory condition. Track a village aspiration. All right, let's go see. Oh, this is interesting. There's the log. Yeah, this is all good. What can we build, by the way? There's something new. Ah, the, 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 the rustic church. We're going to need to build a rustic church. Very true. All right, let's edit our village aspirations. What do we want to be? A famous builder? Then we need to reach a prosperity of 500. A famous builder on hard level. We need a rating of 50 with every estate. We should have 100 visitor, uh, fish citizens in your village. Ah, this one apparently failed. Oh, because we already have generated revenue. Succeed the King's Pledge military mission. 
All right. Well, I think we're just going to go with a famous builder. That'll be nice. That'll be our village aspiration. All right, so now we start to rule the village as our own. A message from the kingdom. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. All right, that's nice. And we got some money from it. Well, the villagers are not teaching us anything anymore. So we'll have to find out on our own. Let's go check because I want to get an extra carpenter. That's good. Uh, a new advice can be heard. Your village has taught the attention, caught the attention of the three estates of the realm and they expect you to build monuments to their splendor. Such constructions will undoubtedly define the future of your people and they wonder which of the kingdom, clergy or laborers you will oblige first. Well, we are going to build a, a church first because I really want that. We still have mandates available. I guess we should get a... Um, uh, what's the guy called? A bailiff. Yes, we need to get a bailiff. Let's unlock him. We have the money for it now. No, we're not going to get a bailiff. I have a better idea because now we almost have the money for an extra zone. That's what we want. But we also want to build the rustic church because it will help our village to grow. And it's important for people to be able to go to church. I think we should build it right here. And in the end, we're not going to use this stone resource anymore. So we can just kind of build over it at a certain point. So we'll just build the rustic church building. We need to add a bell tower to it. Wait a second. We could unlock the stone bell tower. Let's do that so we can build that stone bell tower straight away. And get that village aspiration done. I want a cross on there. Yes. And we need a door. Oh, I like a nice good door. Like this. Well, this is the start of a church. Let's build it. 12 tools. We have those. 29 planks. We have those. 60 stones. We have those. Um, I think we should move this a bit. Like this. Yes, let's build it. All right. There comes our church. This should get happiness up because more and more people want services. And as soon as it's done, we get those services. So that should work. We get a new villager. Um, you should be, well, just a transporter. At least you have a job. So that's good. And yeah, let's dismiss this. We now make some money so we can slowly start to think about expanding. And I'm thinking about buying this zone because we get extra berries there. We can already see the number of berries slightly dropping a little bit. So yeah, I think that's important. Um, yeah, let's build the church like this first and then we can expand it later if we need to. Remember that most of these buildings will cost you money. This will cost us 14 gold pieces weekly. If this is done, it will cost us 12 gold pieces weekly. So that's why this number runs down a bit because of trade, but also because of all the upkeep that we have to do. So just make sure that you um, get what you need in terms of the gold and don't build too large buildings. If you build a big church right now, it'll cost you a handful of money that you don't have. That's why we are starting small and why I'm really hoping that we get new immigrants. But you can see happiness is average and that's hindering our immigrants. And if we get the services up to 100%, happiness won't be that much of a hindrance. Now we see two villagers incoming. We also see a messenger incoming. That's nice. And a merchant. So we'll see. We'll check what they want. We can see that they have a long way to go all the way through the mountains to reach our village. But that's fine. Let's see. that they, Ooh, they already brought most of the resources in. And they're already constructing now. Kind of hoping they will bring all the goods soon. And I think it's time for another builder's office, actually. We'll build it on this side of our town. We're going to do a lot more building here anyway. And um, we're going to build in this direction. And then a builder's office here is good. We have one here for if we go into this direction. I think that should work. All right, here they come. The trader. Two new villagers and a merchant and usually the merchants wants just stuff from us but we'll see 
Let's get these new villagers in and let's see what he wants. The bishop is looking to build a few chapels along the pilgrimage routes. One of his merchants notices your woodcutter camps and wants to make you an offer. He wants to get a hundred wood. And we get a hundred coins for it. Or... Yeah, that's not good. 10% offer Sweden's and... No, I'm not going to do that because we need our wood right now. And we'll get to that later. All right, we have those two new villagers. Let's give them a new job. Uh, one of them can be a builder. One of them can be a transporter. Now, I wonder if there are more nice things that we could unlock. No, nothing like fish or something like that. We need to get prosperity or progression 20. Uh, the bailiff is a bit expensive since we don't really have those coins. So we're going to leave it like this. We do have clergy points though, but we're not going to use them. Well, they are really trying to finish the church. All the stone is in. Two builders are assigned to work at the same time. That's really good. Almost all the planks, just need 10 more. We have them in store. They probably need them for a certain part that they're not building yet. And just two more tools. Oh, just one more tool actually. So this is good. This is probably for the cross on top. But then they first have to finish the tower, of course. But the church is taking shape. I really like the amount of detail they put in, in, in the building. That's just wonderful. And they're quite busy actually building this. I think we're slowly running out of trees around our village. This is almost gone. Ah, we still have these. All right, so the ones in the village can still go away. We might even need to build a forester at a certain point to reforest some pieces, but we'll see for now. We have plenty of wooden planks so we can survive even if we run out of trees. Well, the main part is done, so we can now have a weekly attendance of 45. So everybody can go into the church for a service. Of course, we need to build the door, but then they can all go in. And that's great, because that means that happiness can go up and we can get more immigrants in. We'll have to provide them jobs, though. We don't have that many available at this point. Only three, four jobs available, but hmm, it's okay. There come two new villagers. Yes, you are very welcome. Let's provide them with a job. Two builders. Let's speed up construction. They're probably going to need a house. Yes, so they're upgrading this house soon. But first they should finish this. Get happiness back up. I want happiness back up. Builder Sayeva is assigned. Heske is bringing two planks. Those are the last two planks. That's good. And yeah, they just need to build the cross now, but rest is done. We have the first attendances, so happiness can go up. Yeah, from 25 to 20% now, so happiness can go up. Immigration incentive can be high again. That's really good. That's what I want now because, well, yes, we followed the advice. That's very good. Um, a courier is approaching your village, okay. Because now we can attract more people. And more people means more taxes, so more financial growth. And that will help us to acquire the money to get new zones and stuff like that. Still have no free territory, so we'll have to pay for it. What do you want? Words of your village first church have reached the clergy. They appreciate your dedication to the faith and thus hold you in higher regard. Oh wow, that's really nice. We get some points for it. Clergy is pleased. We have 10 influence with them. Now this will, number will slowly run down. But it's nice that we have some influence with them. Usually it pisses the other ones off. Alright, let's take a look at taxes. I think we can raise taxes without happiness being too much affected. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Really hoping that we... Um, yeah, I think... I think it'll be good to have the extra money incoming for a little while. We can lower taxes later. But for now, I just want the money to buy extra zones and expand. If we want to get things like clothing and other stuff that will keep everybody happy and keep them to spend money, we need to be able to uh, get more money and buy new zones. 
And with the influx of immigrants, we really need an extra food source like berries and stuff. So that's also something to consider. Here come three new villagers, apparently, maybe even four. So it'll be hard to provide jobs for them, but we'll see. One, two, three, four. Okay, one and two. I guess we need to um, provide some extra jobs here. Not that there's anything we can build that we don't already have yet. So basically it's really time to start saving some... Um, all right, let's do this. I think we can build more houses close by town. That's fine. All right, all the trees are gone here. Only some stone is left. Just one tree left, by the way. So let's do it like this. We'll keep using that stone, but later on we will get rid of it. I'm thinking of building a little forester here, but I just want to buy an extra zone and get extra trees that way. Because right now, it's not really worth building a forester. We need to pay for it, which takes up quite a bit of money. And it's just not what I want to spend my money on. And we should just have enough trees around, so I'm not going to do that. No resources to extract. That's here with the berries, but that'll be over soon. We'll get new berries. You can see right now, new berries arrived, well, pretty quickly. So that's good. Slowly making some money. Happiness is not too much affected by taxes yet. And I really want that extra money coming in. That will be really great if we can. All right, new monthly report. That's okay. So slow advances, we actually built a, a manor lord and the tax office with it and a church. So we did quite good. And it's time to st so soon start expanding with other zones. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments in the comment section. I will respond to it. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new episode. Thank you so much. Bye bye.